guys, Nick here from West Coast Plaza. We're up at our claim on the Similkameen River today. Uh, we're doing a seismic survey and some gold pounding. Um, right now we're laying out our survey grid. I have my assistant here helping me out. The other assistant not helping as much. So we're laying out our grid here. Uh, we have our homemade survey chain here which we have measured at 15 meters so as we lay that out the length of the rope is 15 meters and then we can lay out all our stations uh, I don't know if you can see the uh, line that we got here so far so what we're trying to do is lay out a grid and at each one of those flags we set up a station and we're taking measurements for the bedrock depth and the reason that we want to do that on a placer claim is because we want to find the old channels from the Similkameen River in the, in where they it cut into the bedrock. So those places are where we're going to find the best concentrations of gold. Here we're laying out our survey line here. And the idea is that we want to line up the flag just like the uh, sights on a gun. You can see here, we're right in line, and we're gonna put our flag right here. What do we got here, Oliver? Huge anthill. Let's see if we can zoom in on it. Off the. Hold on. Look at that! Just crawling with ants. I don't know what kind of ants these are. I hope they don't step on me. Whoa. Look at them all. The whole thing is just crawling. All these ants. Oh my god, look at this. There's so many in one pile. Do they all bring those things to like... Come I gotta be careful so they don't bite me. Oh look, there's one on my leg. When I get out of here, they're gonna get me. Ah, there's two of them. All right, Doug, what do you got here? Well, we'll see you in a moment. Now that was about half a pail in your pyramid pound, right? Was, yep, about half. This is the concentrates from the pyramid. There's uh, Doug's pan and bucket over here. That's a lot of black sand. We could already see a little bit of flakes and stuff in there. Tell me about your technique there, Doug. Uh, just kind of giving it a rotation and a shake at the same time. Concentrate all that gold up in that top corner. Peel off. The I rest. can see it concentrating. It's, it works out pretty well. Yeah, and you're able to eliminate the black sand. You're going to lose a little bit of gold, but... Yeah. Let me just come in here a little bit. Let's see uh, your gold is definitely concentrating up in there. Yeah, and I'll dump that with the back. And... Down to it. See a neat little effect in the river here while your, your black sound is concentrated. <laughs> uh -huh. Suck it out here. Hopefully that shows up. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, sweet. A little bit of size to it. There it is. Suck it out. Oh, here's the final. Nice. nice. Cool. This here is our seismic sensor. So what what it does, each one of these little spikes goes into the ground and it gets in contact with the ground. And they pick up vibrations that come up. It's a it's a very, very sensitive instrument. Each one of these sensors, called geophones, picks up vibrations in a different orientation. So like X, Y, Z axis, up and down, left and right.
Campfire Burger. Paper off the room. Alright, this is gonna be Oh this one got kinda of fat. Alright, time for the cheese, yeah. How's that burger over? Good. Right on. Dick? It should be good. Oh, that's good. Just about the end of the day here. This is Doug's last pan. I like Doug's uh, swirl technique here. It's pretty slick for uh, the amount of black sand we got. And look at that gold. Yeah, one pound maybe. One pound, that's not even like a pail or anything. That's pretty good. Super, super fines though. Yeah, let's see if we can zoom in and get the, the super fine gold there. Lots of super fine gold. And some bigger pieces. Very nice. That's a happy guy right there. <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna browse over to where you got that from. And that's right up here by the roots, eh? Yep, right where the shovel is there, the whole area. All right, up in here is where uh, that hot little streak is. We had the drone follow us while we're laying out the survey lines to give a different perspective. So we're visually aligning our lines to be straight and we're measuring them at a set distance apart with our rope. It's important to have straight lines and equally spaced stations to have good data, which can be gridded and mapped properly. You might be wondering why we're doing these seismic surveys, laying out these lines, and doing all this stuff here on this claim. Why wouldn't we just show up with a, an excavator and just start digging and mining? Well, the old channels from the river they carry gold just as the river does today. And they have the benefit of not being disturbed and having all their gold still in place. So once we do our mapping here and, and we can highlight where the, the, the paleo channels used to be, we'll be looking for the same things like bends in the river, inside bends and that kind of thing. But the difference is that it's buried and sort of locked in place. So when we do come back and test the channels, we're, we're going to find the best spots, we have the highest concentrations of gold, and that's where we're going to mine. So we won't start mining until we know where the good gold is and the grades are economical. And you can see here, if you look behind me here, I'm on a flat terrace right now. And this is an old floodplain from the Sinal Kameen River. Now up behind me here, Another terrace right over here. You can see up where those trees are, just a little bit higher than I am, about two or three meters higher. And then up over here is an even higher terrace. So each one of those are representing different time periods where the river hadn't cut its way down to the course where it is right now. And if you look at the river right now, it's, it's a little bit lower and it's, you can't really come uphill up into another course, but it does meander a little bit. You can see across there where it's traveled in more recent time. At each one of these points where, where the river had a channel, it's deposited all of its gold and its metals, and heavy material, and most of that's still in place. This is some of the process data from our seismic survey. This is a topo map of the bedrock. So this is what it would look like if we were able to remove the overburden and the gravels and be left with just bedrock. The elevations here are uh, elevation above sea level, which is the same as what you'd have on a normal topo map. The seismic data that we collect in processing allows us to interpret the bedrock depth from the surface. So at each location, we can measure the depth from wherever we place the sensor all the way down to bedrock. And by subtracting those depths from 
the surface topple map, we get this bedrock map. We, we didn't actually complete the whole survey over the whole claim area. You can see our survey lines here in the green and blue dashed lines. So the area off to the left of this map is interpolated by the software. We're gonna come back in a couple months and finish the survey. And then we'll have a, a whole picture of the whole area. And hopefully that low area extends throughout the claim and we have clear definition of our paleo channel. Thank mm -hmm. you.